How are we all doing? Yeah. Um, you know, we was just talking about them flat earthers. And, you know, there, there's even a, a little program that we can uh, use on them. And, and this might work on some of the harder cases that uh, you have uh, your work and, and what have you that, you know, that, that there's a bunch that's figured it out. But there's this few that, yeah, they, hmm, I don't know. I, yeah, they, Mm, yeah, they're they're real close to flat earthers. They're they're yeah. You don't even know how in the hell to go and talk to them. Well, here's what you do. You go up to them and you tell them, "Hey, I got a challenge for you." He says, uh, and when he says, "What what what are you talking about?" I I got a challenge for you. I want to know that if I give you some facts that I know right now. Would you have an open mind about something? Because uh, it, it's kind of important. And and just start the conversation like that. And then as you're getting ready to talk to them, you, you tell them that, you know, me and some of the others here, and you can point out whoever you want to, you know, that we've, we've been listening to and heard about this, this, this man that's walking the earth. He's... Uh, literally telling us that uh, heaven is real dude and uh, we're actually uh, here's how it works he says it, you know how you know in Star Trek they got a holodeck that everything we're in right now what we're doing is really kind of like a holodeck have you, have you ever seen anything about a simulation theory yeah yeah google it or look on YouTube. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of things about simulation. We actually Einstein and uh, Bar Bear. I forget his name. Uh, you might want to get that back straight. Uh, they they were arguing back in 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 way back that uh, what was real, and uh, we didn't have any real solid science then. We just had theories that. Uh, Einstein said it wasn't, and, and, uh, and, oh, man, I can't remember his name for the life of me right now. Anyway, um, he believed that, uh, reality wasn't real. Well, we've done a lot of tests since then, and a lot of scientific, uh, research, and we, yeah, we, we want, we're not 99.9% .9 sure that we're in a simulation. We just didn't know who's. Well, this guy says it's uh, God's, and uh, turns out your your soul, your your soul that you're uh, um, that we're talking about, is actually up there, and and you are running around in a vessel, uh, uh, something that uh, is uh, is literally just a temporary vessel, and that when you die, your soul. It's born again in a new vessel, only a perfect one up there, and uh, the one you're running around in is a mathematical roll of the dice of your parents, and uh, what you got is what you got, including your color, everything, everything that you are, as far as that meat sack you're in, is uh, just a, a vessel, and uh and when he's like, yeah, right, yeah, uh, right, uh-huh, well, it, it, true, and, 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 you know, your soul has to stay in contact with your vessel. If, uh, if, if it don't, you, 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 you don't work right, you're, you're not, and the way it stays in contact is you have to go to sleep. Yeah, it turns out you're REM sleep. It's a maintenance program. See, all the cells in your head that die during the day while you're awake and the new ones that are born well they aren't connected and so as your day goes along you get fatigued and you have to lay down and go to sleep you know we've never had a real answer on why we had to sleep why REM sleep was necessary well this guy is telling us that uh, that it's a maintenance program and that's why when you get good REM sleep you wake up and you're refreshed and you totally know everything. You feel uh, all. You're, you feel sharp. You're, you're ready to go. And it's because all the brain cells are connected. 
and working at its max. But as your day goes on and your day get later in the evening and before you know it, you're going to bed and yeah, you're starting to uh, need that REM. Turns out that's why we have to have REM. If you let it go too long, you will go straight up mad. And we got science for that too. Turns out, yeah, we know for a fact that we have to have REM cycles. And it's because of that. Because our brain cells have to be reconnected constantly. That's uh, part of this simulation. Now on the top side, we don't have a body that grows cells. And so we're always connected. And he's like, how do you know all this? This guy is telling us. He's, turns out he says he's the second son of God. Yeah, yeah, and and he's been told through in his head all this stuff, and he's been walking the world, talking all along about this. Most people thought he was crazy in the beginning, but as time's gone on and all the facts started to come in, he's not so crazy anymore. Matter of fact, we all believe him, and uh, we need to uh, see if you take a minute and, and maybe watch a video and see what uh, why we believe and why we know for a fact that what he's saying is right because it's in our heart and and it's true if you if you watch the video and you question it in your own mind and you ask God to say is this true you'll feel it in your heart and uh, hit that approach let that uh, soak in and see how you do with that one because uh, we need to start waking up more but unfortunately we can only do it on a small scale but the more that are prepared the better off it's going to be when we do the big wake up when we actually have it on the news and everyone is confused that is literally been ignored by all the believers because uh, for one reason or another they thought that Jay wasn't uh, worthy of hearing the news or knowing the news which I don't quite understand that one but I guess people live isolated enough that uh, nobody cares for them I sure hope that's not in your village and there's not a lot of them like that because if there is we need to reach out to our village we need to reach out to all the members in our village we need to find a way to sit down and talk to them and explain that uh, this is coming we have an eternal life and uh, this St. Patrick really does make sense and he says he's the king of logic and we believe him he's uh, can only give us logic but uh, with our science we believe it and we know it is right and we know our hearts tell us it's right and the lessons the wisdom of God which he keeps the show and, and I'll, I'll tell you about that show and get you hooked up to that show because uh, it's important to watch the show because the details that he has helps everyone he's even got a government and the whole nine yards that God has told him what to tell the world to do it turns out they're actually working on it right now and once they got that part going uh, then we're going to have this big wake up and uh, see what you can do see how many in your village you can make awake but work together and uh, learn what's effective and what's not and how to uh, approach them because uh, they need to know that it's about everyone being forgiven that no matter what they've done in their past they're going to be forgiven 
everyone on this planet will be able to be an angel. All they got to do is to behave and act right. That's what we got to get out there. Everyone needs to find somebody that doesn't know. Find a way to reach them. Find a way to talk to them. And then when this big wake up comes, it'll be so much easier. So much easier. Everyone will be. Oh, yeah, I'm already woke up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I, I think everyone on our street is woke up, dude. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to walk it and check it, make sure. But uh, yeah, I think everyone here is already woke up. That'd be a great thing when the news comes on, wouldn't it? Your old town's already woke up. Yep. Yeah. Let's see what we can do. Because that's what we have to work with right now. For long, though, we'll be able to do the big uh, wake up, the news, and uh, the whole world. But we can't do that until the, the top is in place. So it still has to be a secret party. Show them that uh, My Sweet Lord video. Yeah, that, uh, that really sinks in as to how big this secret party is. Let them know. We want everyone to join. We want everyone to be saved. And everything that they've done is forgotten. Alright, let's see what we can do with that. Make it happen, kids. I'm going to do a little recharge myself here and uh, talk with the Father about some other stuff. And uh, I'm sure I'll be back later. But uh, hang tight, hang tough, and see who you don't who you know that doesn't know and you guys at work yeah if you all know and you know a couple that don't get to them make them understand we want to save everybody everyone and everything is forgiven it's all about being a decent person we'll be back me, God, Jesus, the, the whole package, the trio thing. You know, when I say we, that's what we are. Yeah, I'm stuck with we. Oh, man, am I ever stuck with we.